Hello there everybody, Mike here. I uh, wanted to make this small video today to talk about another game that I'm very excited for, Mortal Kombat 10. I'll be talking about all the info that I know about right now, uh, my own thoughts and speculation. So if you're into that kind of thing, enjoy. Uh, while I talk, we're going to have some Mortal Kombat 10 footage playing in the background, so let's get to it. First things first, the game is set to release in 2015 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. It'll also be on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, there is a slight difference. The uh, next-gen consoles will uh, be handled by NetherRealm Studios, uh, while the PlayStation 3 and the 360 versions will be handled by another studio that they trust. Uh, the game itself takes place 25 years after the events of Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, because of this time gap, expect a lot of characters to be absent from this game. Uh, if they are in the game, Ed Boon has said expect them to be a lot older. Uh, there is a main antagonist. It's going to be a returning character from the past. Uh, I initially thought it was going to be Shinnok, but now I'm sort of second guessing. It's only because uh, Ed Boon has stated that it's going to be a uh, sort of out of left field, you know, a surprise character that not many people are expecting. So I don't know it still could be Shinnok, but it might not be. They've announced uh, six characters so far, uh, two of which are returning, which are Scorpion and Sub Zero. Not much, not much needs to be said about those. I'm excited for those guys. Uh, the four new characters that they announced were, uh, one was Cassie Cage, which happens to be the love child of uh, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade. Uh, next up is Devora, which uh, happens to be like an insect queen type chick. Uh, she reminded me a lot, I don't know if you guys ever seen uh, Superman vs. the Elite, but there's a chick in there who uh, has like these alien parasites come out of her skin. Uh, it was very reminiscent of that, so maybe they got some sort of inspiration. After that we had Farah and Tor, which happens to be two dual characters, much like, uh, I think in Deception they had like smoke and... Uh, noob Saibot together. It was sort of like that in a way. Uh, one's a big character, one's a small character. And the last one was uh, Kotal Khan, which happens to be like a Mayan, ancient Mayan civilization war chief or something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, every single character will have uh, three variations, uh, fighting styles, whatever you want to call them, uh, which in turn will give them three separate movesets. Uh, Ed Boon says that each moveset, each, uh, each variation will feel drastically different. Uh, kind of reminded me of Deadly Alliance and Deception a little bit. In those games, you had like three different fighting styles that you could switch between and do combos with. Uh, the only difference in this game is that you pick one at the beginning of every fight, and that's the one you're going to stick with for that fight. Along with that, each character will look a little bit different. They'll have like a slight little special item maybe on their back or waist, like maybe an extra sword or some sort of item on their belt. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the roster itself is going to have a total of 24 characters. I'm sure that will be expanded upon with DLC. Uh, Ed Boon has stated that uh, this will be the largest amount of new characters that they've ever done. I think uh, Deadly Alliance had 11 total characters, uh, new characters that is. Uh, so expect at least half the roster to be new characters, as well as some returning characters. Uh, it seems they pulled a little bit from the game uh, Injustice a little bit, whereas like, you can jump off things in the background and throw things that are like hanging above or that are sitting on the sideline. Uh, I think I saw during the demo, in fact, that it's in this gameplay, somebody, uh, I think, Tor picked up like a uh, Farrah and Tor. They actually picked up like an old lady and threw him at their opponent. Uh, I think Farrah and Tor also picked up like some dead body that was in the cove stage. Picked up like a dead body that was like swinging about out of the water. That's pretty cool that they're, you know, they're using all the things that they've learned over the past couple years and bringing it into one big game. As of the making of this video, Ed Boon has stated that the, uh, the game will run at 1080p and 60 frames per second on the uh, newer consoles and on PC. Uh, no word yet on the older consoles, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot crappier than a 1080p and 60 frames per second. And this final bit of news, what really got me excited is that each character will have five different finishers. Uh, I'm assuming one of those is going to be taken up by the pit move, like one of the moves where like you hit somebody into a, a pit of spikes or some lava or that acid pool, something like that. Maybe you'll have like two, three fatalities. Uh, this last bit, though, is what really got me excited, is that they're going to introduce a new ality. Now, they already have Brutality, Animality, Babality, Fatality, uh, Friendship. I don't know if they're going to bring Friendship back. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but this new ality, I don't know what the hell it could be. Uh, I mean, Sexuality? <laughs> they have, like, the characters, like, rape one another? I don't know. They probably won't get away with that, but I don't know. What, what could it be, man? Leave, leave it in the comments. Uh, what, what do you guys think? As far as speculation goes, uh, a couple characters that I think they're going to return are uh, Raiden, being the god of thunder. He's immortal. He doesn't really age that well. So it's pretty much a safe bet that he's going to be in the game. And uh, plus he's been in every Mortal Kombat game since its existed, so it's a pretty safe bet that he's going to be in the game. I also believe that Luke Kang might make an appearance, if not him, then like an apprentice. But Luke Kang could also be in the game as like a grandmaster, like uh, Ip Man, Bruce Lee's teacher. Uh, you know, come back as just like an old guy who like knows a whole shitload of martial arts. Just kicking everybody's ass with nunchucks, dragon. 
Maybe even his dragon fatality could have like an old grayness to it. Like he's an old dragon or something like that. Might be pretty cool. Another character that I really want to see come back is Reptile. Uh, or maybe some of his offspring or some shit like that. Uh, however, I do want to see him come back as a ninja. Not an actual reptile. Uh, more humanoid this time. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9, I really love that they uh, released that humanoid reptile throwback costume that I use that every time. I really, really don't like, I don't have none against it, but I don't like, I prefer the humanoid ninja, uh, the green ninja, rather than the uh, reptile, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Another character that I feel might return is Nightwolf. Uh, not Nightwolf himself, but, uh, you know, Native Americans and things like that. I feel like they can transfer their spirit into, like, another individual that will be Nightwolf, sort of like a reincarnation of them. I feel like that might happen. And uh, one of the last characters that I feel that I hope comes back is uh, Smoke the Ninja or the Cyborg. I like both of those characters. And uh, I hope one of those guys makes a return. Uh, for the final part of news, Ed Boon has stated that Freddy Krueger and Kratos will not make a return in Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, he has stated that there is potential for guest characters, most likely probably from Injustice, maybe a superhero or a supervillain is going to make an appearance. Uh, concept art for Ermac is surfaced online. Uh, he's most likely going to be in the game. He's, uh, he's less of a ninja now and more of like a warlock, sorcerer type looking thing. Uh, it looks pretty cool. He's floating in the air, got like green mist around him. Uh, there's also speculation that Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th movies is going to be in the game. Uh, why they would add him and take out Freddy and not have them both in the game, just doesn't really sound correct, but uh, maybe that's just me. Right, anyway, that's going to wrap up this video for now. I hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do any of that good stuff. Leave any speculation of your own in the comments. Uh, all the info I got can be found in the uh, link in the description that I have. Uh, it has a whole butt more uh, info in there, so go ahead and check it out. And uh, until next time, bye-bye, and uh, enjoy the fatality.